Welcome to my channel, Retrospect. Wild West saloons are firmly associated with gunfights, gallons of whiskey, and dangerous outlaws. These amazing photographs provide undeniable proof that the roadside inns of the Old West lived up to their scandalous historical reputation. The images taken in the late 19th and early 20th centuries depict scenes from these legendary establishments in states from Montana to Texas. Saloons, which became a hallmark of the Wild West, were usually among the first structures to appear in frontier towns. They attracted cowboys, miners, hunters, and gamblers. Quickly gaining notoriety as centers of vice, saloons were often adjacent to brothels and opium dens. Fighting in the streets was a frequent occurrence, and conflicts often spilled out through the open doors of the saloons. Interestingly, women who were not dancers or light laborers were generally forbidden to enter these establishments. A saloon in the Wild West was more than just a bar. It was a special place where people from all walks of life gathered. Fur hunters, cowboys, soldiers, loggers, businessmen, sheriffs, bandits, miners, and of course, gamblers. These colorful establishments had many nicknames. Watering holes, asylums, brothels, cantinas, troglodyte shops, and gin mills. The first saloon appeared as early as 1822 in Browns Hole, Wyoming, and at first catered mainly to fur hunters. By the 1880s, saloons were booming. Leavenworth, Kansas, for example, had about 150 saloons and as many as four wholesale liquor stores. The appearance of a saloon depended largely on where and when it was built. In growing cities, saloons became more and more posh. Bartenders took pride in their appearance and their ability to pour drinks beautifully. However, in the early days of the Wild West, especially in remote areas, saloons were very simple. There was the most basic furniture and the furnishings were far from luxurious. Sometimes the only source of heat in winter was a lone wood stove. The hallmark of any saloon was the famous winged doors at the entrance. These swinging doors were mounted on special hinges that allowed them to open in both directions and reached from the chest to the knees. The adventurism of the Wild West was also manifested in the fact that in some places, alcohol was sold directly from the wagons. As for the saloons themselves, they were built literally from improvised materials. Walls could be built from sod cut from the ground, even the hulls of old ships, or even a hollow dug into a hillside. Saloons were not only drinking establishments, but also real entertainment complexes of their time. Visitors were lured by dancers, some of whom sometimes moonlighted as prostitutes. Gambling was also firmly established within the walls of saloons. Here you could play faro, poker, brogues, three-card games, and dice. As the popularity of saloons grew, the range of entertainment expanded. Pool tables, darts, and even bowling appeared. Some establishments went all out, hiring pianists, can can dancers, and even putting on small theatrical performances. In the newly founded settlements, the first saloons were often tents or shacks selling homemade whiskey made from denatured alcohol, burnt sugar, and chewing tobacco. Beer in those days was served warm as it was simply impossible to refrigerate it. This only changed in the 1880s thanks to the innovations of Adolphus Bush, who introduced refrigeration and pasteurization of beer under the Budweiser brand. In some saloons, barrels of beer were stored on special racks right inside the establishment. Many saloons had their own unofficial neighborhoods such as opium dens and brothels. Saloon owners lured girls from the villages with the promise of high wages and easy work. However, some saloons sought to maintain a respectable image and discourage such activities. Patrons who spent a lot of time in saloons often got calluses on their elbows from leaning on the bar. As for equality, you could forget about it in these establishments. By law, Indians were forbidden to enter, and for a Chinese man, a visit to a saloon could be very dangerous.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video.